What's up guys, Caesar here, and we're going to go through a Kimono Straw Hats 30 Stamina run. Uh, we're going to be using a double Monster Chopper team, so let me try to find a max Monster Chopper. I'll use this guy. So yeah, uh, the team is two Monster Choppers, Arlong, Whitebeard, Luffy, and uh, Usopp. Usopp. My Usopp is max skill, but you don't really need to uh, have a skill max, because there's a lot of opportunities to stall on this stage. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, one of the strengths of this team is that you can clear clear the island relatively fast. Uh, most of these most of these like mobs are really weak. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna uh, kill these two mobs with one cooldown, and we're gonna I guess stall a little bit on Mister Nine. So, uh, since Usopp is max skill, you really don't need to stall for that long, so I'm just going to stall the bare minimum. But if your uh, Usopp is not max skill, you can just stall for as long as you like. As you can see, like some of the units on this island will have like three cooldowns, so that there's plenty of opportunities to stall. So yeah, we're just going to go right into it. Most of the units are really weak, so you really don't need to stall. So yeah, uh, a word of caution with these Monster Chopper team is that Kabaji can one-shot you, so try not to take a hit from him. But, as you can see, he's relatively weak. Uh, I can't really stall on this stage, so I guess we'll just leave the Penguin alive, and then stall it one more turn. Uh, some of the more important skill books that drop in this island is obviously the Kamel Nami and the Mr. 3. Uh, but Mi Mr. 3 doesn't take that many skill books to max him. He only has like four, four skill ups. But that Kamel Nami you really want because uh, she takes about 10 skill ups. So yeah, we're just going to continue here. All these units relatively weak. Uh, if your units aren't that leveled, don't worry about it. This, I mean, you could have like your red units at level 30, and you could probably still clear this island. So we're going to stall a little bit on this turtle. And after the next turn, my Usopp should be ready to go, so I won't have to stall anymore. Uh... Thing to talk about Hachi is that Hachi will not kill you on his, on his first attack, so use that for an extra turn to stall. But if you leave Hachi alive, he will randomize your orbs. So uh, if you have some orbs, be sure to look out for that. So yeah, we're just gonna stall on this turtle in case we need it, but just try to fish for some orbs. Uh, so we get to Zoro. Zoro has, will always start on two cooldown, and he can one shot you. So try not to let him attack. But he's pretty weak, so you could probably just one shot him in a turn. All right, and now we're gonna go on to Luffy. Uh, Luffy will increase his attack every turn by 0.1, so try not to let him attack you, because with Monster Chopper being really low health, he will one-shot you. So we're just gonna we just bring Usopp along here as a precaution, just so we don't get killed by Luffy. And with this team, you should probably be able to burst them in about two turns. Two turns if you can. Hit your perfects. Here he'll increase his attack by 0.1. So yeah. And I got some pretty good orbs, so I probably will kill him on this turn. So yeah, that was Kimono's Straw Hat's uh, 30 stamina. As you can see, it's relatively easy. Uh, 
the Zoro and the Luffy aren't re that good. I mean, the Nami is obviously really good, but the Zoro and the Luffy's you will not need. This island was basically uh, really made for sockets in the future, so be on the lookout for that. So, yeah. Uh, that was Kamano Straw Hat's 30 Stamina, and hope you guys like this video.